Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to talk about CSS outline. So, the outline property is used to add outline around an element outside of the border. Like an example, so first of all, we have the content of the element, then right outside the border, we have the outline. And the outline is mainly used to stand out the element. Like an example, inside the style tag, we can select the h1 element and then First of all, I'm gonna add some border, 5 pixels, solid, red. So first of all, we're gonna talk about the outline style property. So the outline style property specifies the style of the outline. So it can be dotted or the value can be dashed. And also we can specify one solid outline or a double outline. And also we can use the none value or we can use the hidden value for the outline style property and next we have the outline width property so the outline width property specifies the width of the outline so the value can be thin or the value can be medium and also the value can be thick and also we can specify the width of the outline using the size so we can have 5 pixels and next we have the outline color property so the outline color property is used to set the color of the outline so we can use one specific name of the color like yellow and we can set the outline color and also we can use the hex value or the rgb or the hsl value to set the color of the outline and also we can use the value as invert the invert property perform a color inversion which ensures that the outline is visible regardless of the background color so you can see the background color is white that's why the invert property inverted the color and make the outline as a black and now we can use the outline shorthand property and we can specify all of those individual outline property in just one property first of all we have to specify the width of the outline like 5 pixel and then the style of the property like solid and then the color of the property like blue so this way we can combine all of those individual outline property into one property and next we have the outline offset property so the outline offset property adds space between the border and the outline of the element. Like an example, we can have the outline offset as 5 pixel, and you can see there is gap between the border and the outline of the element. And that is because of the outline offset property. So this is the way we can use the outline property and we can add outline around an element. So hope you understand the concept. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.